Hello, peeps. And welcome to another Power Pack of Podcasts. Am I going so fast? Because i got a lot of MSAs. Here we go. Homework tonight. Workbook page 52. Please do problem 7 and 8. New e EOC, excuse me, packet this week. You have two weeks to do it. No EOC quiz this week. We're on a bye. I have done problems 1, 2, 3, 4. You can access them in the tutoring room. Just remember, because of the epic fail of those miserable Chicago Bears, lost three of their last four games, but who's counting? You have a test next week on Chapter 5. Week 7 scores are not in yet. If you were absent the other day, week 6 scores are out. You can take a quick look at them. Absolutely ridiculous. There's no reason why Mr. McGrath's class should beat you. Pick it up. Technically, these tied. They just listed them first because alphabetically, F comes before S. S excuse me. Math munchers, fraction freeloaders, supercal fractions. Don't let the thundering third beat you. Come on. That's like letting the bears win. Are you kidding me? Mmm, I like the cup. I like the cake even better. My favorite cake, coconut cake. We'll place a little candle on top. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Oh, wait, sorry. It's not my birthday anymore. 363 more days until my birthday. But who's counting? Obviously, I am. Here we go. Lesson 5.4. Wrapping up 5.4 today. Standard form, part 3. Remember that we said standard form is ax plus by equals c. c, our constant, the number that is constantly by itself, is the tornado. We also said, beware, you have to memorize the equation for standard form. It is not on the reference sheet. X and Y hang out on the same side. BRB. Please take out a piece of graph paper. Make yourself a coordinate grid or a graph that goes to the right. 5 or positive 5, that goes up 5 or positive 5, that goes left to negative 5, and that goes down to negative 5. When you're done, please staple it into your spiral. On your graph, please make yourself a point or a dot at the ordered pair 4, 1. Start at your origin, go right, 4, up, 1. Then draw yourself a line, vertical, going straight down. Vertical, up, and down. Notice that the line you drew at the ordered pair for the point, 4, comma, 1, intersects, touches, cuts through the x axis right here at 4. So we say the equation for this red line on the screen, the line that you drew on your paper, the equation is x equals 4 because it touches the x axis at 4. Please draw yourself a dot at the ordered pair 2 comma negative 4. And that means you're going to start at the origin, go right to, down, 4. Draw yourself a line side to side, horizontal. I won't say the Bears, because they lost last week. Pathetic. Maybe Patriots? Maybe Colts? <laughs> hey, the Bills even won last week. Come on, Bears, what's your problem? Focus, Mr. Phillips. Sorry. Notice that the blue line, the horizontal line, 
touches the y axis, it touches the y axis right here at negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. It touches right here at negative 4. So the equation of the blue line is y equals negative 4. It touches the y axis at negative 4. One other thing I want to point out. Notice your ordered pair, 4, is the x value. Notice that your equation here, x equals 4, because it touches the x axis at 4. Notice for the blue line, your y value is negative 4. In your equation, y equals negative 4, because it touches the y axis right here at negative 4. Last example, please write down in your notebook, find the missing coefficient. Please write down, find the missing coefficient. Then I would like you to write the equation ax plus 3y equals 2. Notice that we are finding the missing coefficient. Coefficient is the number that touches a variable. We know the coefficient here is 3. We're looking for the coefficient right here, or we call that a in standard form. So you can think of it as a question mark right here. Remember that this is standard form because x and y are on the same side. Or think of it as your tornado is the number that is constantly alone. They gave us a graph. You do not have to draw it. But I would like you to write the ordered pair down, negative 1, comma, 0. Because our line touches right here at negative 1, 0. Or you could say that your x intercept would be negative 1. Nice. Hope the bears do that well this weekend. Please make sure you have the ordered pair negative 1, 0 written on your paper. So, the first thing we're going to do to find the missing coefficient, or to find a, think of a as our question mark, is we're going to substitute the numbers here from the ordered pair. So in other words, we're going to take negative 1, and we're going to put it in for x, then we're going to take 0, and we're going to put it in for y. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my x and put in negative 1. They were touching each other, so I'm going to put a dot for multiplication. I'm going to take out my y, and I'm going to substitute 0 in for y. They were touching each other, so I'm going to put a dot for multiplication. Now I'm going to multiply a by negative 1. That's going to give me negative 1a. If I multiply 3 times 0, that's going to give me 0 or nothing. Now I have negative 1a equals 2. I'm going to solve for a, or I'm going to pretend that a is a tornado. These are touching each other, so that means multiplication. I'm going to do the inverse, which is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. These will cancel each other. I now have a positive 2 divided by a negative 1. If the good guy is leaving town, everybody is sad. So I'm going to say that a equals negative 2. The question asked me to find the missing coefficient. I know that a is negative 2. So I'm going to take out 
the letter A, and I'm going to put in a, a negative 2, excuse me. So in standard form, I have negative 2 x plus 3y equals 2. I found the missing coefficient. The missing coefficient for the letter A was negative 2. Notice that my x and my y are on the same side. Notice that my 2, my tornado, is all by itself. So this is standard form. Hopefully, it will be as easy as beating the Vikings this weekend. Thanks for watching. Later.